start uh, with the 6.30 opening the Hadley Conservation Commission meeting hearing. Request for determination of applicability, public meeting continued. Next AMP seeks to modify solar array for energy storage by installing concrete tabs for battery storage in buffer zone off Westgate Center Drive, map 10D, parcel 29. Site visit was conducted on December 1st by myself and our new Conservation Commission agent, Charlotte Davis. We met with Mickey Marcus of SWCA and Jim Hadley of Nexam. So that being said, please come forward and give us an update. Good evening, my name is Tony Summers. I'm with SWCA. Uh, unfortunately, Mickey Marcus could not be here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what you have in front of you is uh, the modification to the solar array to include an inverter outside of the fence line. Um, I worked, uh, our team worked with Nexamp's engineers to ensure that all the equipment is uh, out of the, the wetland area and outside of the 35 foot buffer. And it's, it's, it's still within the 100 foot buffer zone. Correct. The tech shack. But we require anything 35 feet or closer that can't be done. So you're outside the 35 foot zone. Correct. And I believe you currently already moved the battery storage site to be back inside the. It is back inside the fence line. Correct. That's in the area where the solar arrays already are, mm -hmm. which has already been permitted for use. Mm -hmm. So um, there's really not a whole lot of happening here because it's outside the 35 foot no disturb zone. It's already within the area permitted for the solar system with the fenced area. It is in the 100 foot buffer zone, but you're really not doing much alteration other than what's currently been done. Right. So I'm trying to determine is this going to be a positive determination or a negative? Are you familiar with these forms? <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a negative determination. I'm saying it's a negative too, but I'm trying to decide this. Uh, R3. Number three. It's, that's what we all were talking about earlier. The work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in the regulations, but will not alter an area subject to protection or anything act. Correct. Um, therefore, said work does not require the following notice of intent subject to any of the following conditions, if any. I, I can't see if all the work is being done inside the existing fence line area. Um, uh, everything except for. Uh, these, these four elements here. Okay, those four elements. So which, are? which is the enlarged portion right there? And those are. Those are uh, the inverters. Okay. So equi uh, the equipment. And so half of that is owned by the utility, and the other half is owned by Nexam. That's correct. So those inverters are outside the fenced area of the solar array? That is correct. See, that was not pointed out to us in the site visit. No. Yeah, we were told about the concrete pad that's right up next to the panels themselves. That were going to be the battery storage facilities? Okay. Yeah, yeah the okay. battery storage facility is required okay. to be inside the fence line. Correct. But still, that work is outside the 35-foot buffer zone. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, there are erosion controls shown that's what outside, I was going to of the, the outside of the 35-foot buffer. and. It's in um, the closest proximity to the access road without um, posing a, a... That's all, already a previously disturbed area. Correct. Because the roadway came in through there. I visited the site and, like you said, since you're so close to the 35-foot bar zone, I was going to ask you about erosion controls. We really don't need it for the fenced area inside. Correct. Right now it's correct because we're so far away. Yep. It, the, the topography is such. Yes. So... Um, So I think we have a negative three with uh, erosion control, but we need a motion to close the hearing to uh, put it to a vote. I'll make it. Motion made by Gordon. Second. No second. By Edwin. Roll call. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Steve. Aye. Aye. Gordon. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Okay. So you need aye. So it's unanimous. So next we're going to go to the, any further discussion? 
Anybody from the audience? Seeing none. Uh, I'm going to look for a motion for a negative determination three, as I just read, with the conditions that the erosion control will be shown as presented on the plan. You will notify us prior to the work beginning, while it's underway, and after when it's commenced, it depends. Mm -hmm. So IR Conservation Commission agent come out and visit the site. Inspect the work that everything was done according to plan. Okay. Do I have a motion for that? I'll make it. Board makes the motion. I'll second. Second by Edwin. Okay. All those in favor, let's do a roll call, please. Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. 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 So unanimous, it passes. And we'll send this around and get signatures. Thank you all. Have a great holiday. Thank you very much. So, I'll leave this for you. Oh, you can put in the notes, additional notes, mm -hmm. road controls. Absolutely. Subject to the plan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move on to other business. Uh, a, this has been continued from before, but a sign for the Dawson Reserve off of Rocky Hill Road. Shiloh has located the sign, has located the design, sorry, and will need to find a way to get it printed. Unlikely we can install it until spring given ground freezing. Commission thoughts, Edwin, Edwin has volunteered to post. Yep. So, yes, tell me where. Okay, so. We just need to figure out where I think it's not, um, where to get it printed from. Um, I was going to maybe actually ask them uh, across the street there. We have a sign. At the Amherst Coffee, or I don't know where you've gotten them done. Previously. Right on Golf Street, is a sign facility? On Golf Street? Yeah. Yeah, that's at Amherst Coffee. Amherst Coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Local business in town. Okay. We can get a quote from them for that. Okay. I will work on that. Good, thank you. So we can. Then you have to the next meeting for an update on that. Mm -hmm. Which is the January, January 11th, 2021. So I will announce that our next... 2022. 2022. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So I will announce that our next meeting will be January 11th, 2022. Here at the Senior Center for 6.30 p.m. Uh, I think we have a couple pending hearings, possibly. Yeah. One of these for the... Uh, Charging stations at uh, Hampton Inn. Yep. Yeah, the so there there will be a request for determination. Uh, they just didn't get the notice in the paper for yeah. this meeting. We're supposed to have had it tonight, but it didn't. Yeah. But that'll that'll be coming in January. Okay. Small project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you can think of that we've seen paperwork come in for? Mm -hmm. We're going to find out, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and I don't think so. At they, don't, the they don't have much. Being the holidays right now that's yeah. coming up, right. there's a small window for them to get stuff into us before it has to be published in time. For there's been a few um, uh, things from the building department. They've heard folks being interested in some properties, but nothing concrete, no plans. You know, they haven't even gotten plans yet. So we'll, we'll get new things next year. But I'll continue to the next uh, on all the business. Elder Forges. To be cutting down six or seven trees between now and the spring at three Mitch's Way. A site visit was conducted on 10 2021 by Edwin Matusko and Charlotte Davis. Trees confirmed to be hazardous, permission granted, work will be done by the Forges themselves. Commission being asked to physically sign the emergency cert for this work. One tree has come down, photo sent to Conservation Commission, email 1129, stump remaining as requested. I just, I hadn't brought the form, I think, at the last meeting, so okay. if, if you all agree sure. with everything. Is there any objections to signing this? There's that many trees that need to come down all around. <clears throat> Boy, they are really leaning. I mean, I didn't go there. I'm just asking. No, they really are. They're just, they're, and you can tell that they're starting to come up, they're starting to pull the ground up. So it's better off that they cut them now and let them right. stay in place, which is what we told them to do. Right. Didn't have, didn't have those come over, especially with high water coming in the spring, 
and cause an erosion problem, and make, a, make the situation worse, and we're looking for a river out. They did appear to be dead wood as well. Yeah. Okay, so. And know. they were the, they were swamp maples yeah. or something. They were not a, which is, which is which, which is marina down there. <laughs> yeah. Just north of which is marina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he marked, they marked the trees that they were going to cut. Yeah. I do have photos of the mole if you want me to send them to you. No, you know, I, I trust you guys. I okay. we, we have uh, <clears throat> photographic evidence before and we'll have after and mm -hmm. so we can document what we uh, allowed. Mm -hmm. Next I'll bring up uh, C, Joe, and Michelle Boiser at <clears throat> St. French Street to be presenting a bank stabilization plan. Uh, they haven't, I don't think we've seen anything yet. We have not. I have followed up with the property owners and they don't have an update. They said that the, uh, we did go by, I think, um, Edwin and I drove yeah, past yeah, the bank visit last week and they do have erosion control of um, at least like along the edge of the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we didn't get out and look at the actual bank on the other side, okay. but I haven't gotten word from them yet. So, a site visit, okay. Upon receipt of this plan, the commission can review and request changes as needed. A site visit to the property was conducted by Edwin Mazusco, myself, and Shallow Davis. On November 17th, he observed the conditions. The bank has eroded drastically due to a high flow of water during storm surges. The property owners have lost their erosion control barriers due to the flow. They have been asked to come up with a way to stabilize the bank and, and in plate. Implement. Implement, sorry. Erosion control, and the town has installed new pipes across the street to enhance the flow capacity. Mm -hmm. So, from what we saw, what the town was previously here for drainage, the system, mm -hmm. they were at fault. Yeah, I stopped in there. I was so, <coughs> you know, in, in the water been flowing directly onto the Boys Bridge property, causing the bank to, to fail. Mm -hmm. So, but since then, I went to the site, we talked to the DPW, got them involved. And they came up with an emergency fix to put a, uh, a stopgap solution by diverting the flow down further into a pipe. To a further it needs basin. to go right to the river. It needs to go to the next house underneath and keep right on going underneath the, the road and go right to the flow it right into the brook and it's all done, not stop yeah, it well, somewhere. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I right, will do it once. Well, we've got a solution to get us through the winter months. Right. We get funding to do something. We'll see how this works. Okay. We're all, I think, worried about the flow conditions we had this year, the, the higher precipitation. So mm -hmm. we'll see what 2022 brings us. <laughs> it just missed the rain garden. <laughs> <Not someone? laughs> yes. uh, lastly, signatures needed for the issuance of a Form 8B certificate compliance for Western Food Bank, yeah, Western Mass Food Bank, mm -hmm. regarding the installation of a well and site visit 12 7 by Edwin and Charlotte to ensure all conditions satisfied. They didn't meet the conditions. They didn't do any. It was out of the uh, purview of the Conservation Commission, and it was. He just wanted to make sure all the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed. Okay. And how's the order of conditions? Does anyone want to look anywhere? Does anybody have any problems with this specific compliance? No. Uh, let's go vote. Are we uh, see? Yeah, for the vote. Yeah. 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 Gordon? Ray? Yes. That's all. All set. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all. I didn't do a motion, but. Yeah. Okay. Because okay, so we have that form of sign coming? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And there isn't anything under building correspondence, but I will be meeting with the accountant tomorrow to talk about the budget for fiscal year 23. Um, so that'll be happening. If anyone has any questions, just email me. Okay, so the other one coming up after that, bills and correspondence, yes. which was picked the next meeting, are the minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know you gave us copies at the last meeting. <laughs> Were you here? And I didn't, I neglected to look at them before the meeting. Okay. I don't think I was here for all those meetings anyways. I, I wasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have July, which I'm assuming was a, a due to the big con, 
volumization of uh, things that happen. Mm -hmm. So, and I would recommend that we hang on to the March meeting minutes because there was a lot of stuff that the previous chairperson said that makes sense to me about the, uh, 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 the, um, the uh, along the Connecticut River, update on the, uh, the River Bylaw Committee. Mm -hmm. they, they said we ought to keep, just so that we know what we're talking about and just we can refer to this, but that, that's just what I will do. It takes me two or three times to read these through to, in order to make sense of all that. I did, I did that one day. So, but, um, I move that we accept the minutes as written for March 9th, August 10th, September 14th, October 12th, and November 9th meeting. Do you have a second? I'll second it. Gordon seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask for a roll call vote. Steve? Yep. yep. Gordon? Ray? Yes, sir. Myself? Aye. All right, unanimous. We'll accept all five yep. of those minutes. Any other topics that the uh, Charlie you can think of or any of the board members? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, if, there, yeah, if anyone had any like, questions or concerns with the budget, uh, it's my first time doing it, and I don't know what historically we've used funds for. I'm going to go over the backlog of expenses with the accountant tomorrow, I think. Mm -hmm. But if there's anything specific that anyone wants me to consider, not really. The only the the thing that uh, the previous uh, person in your position was paid for it from the, the conservation fund. Now we have a line item budget, so I, we we don't know the questions to ask. Okay. So we're just going to wing that. But we'll all learn together. <laughs> yes, we will all learn together. Awesome. <laughs> we're in this together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did want to also uh, just ask, there was a, a project that has already received its order of conditions and like they already went through the filing process and they would like to make changes to that plan and I wanted to get perspective on what course of action to take, whether an amended order of conditions, a new notice of intent, or an administrative approval. At, um, was it Knightley Road? Oh, they uh, want to replace the head wall, and that yes. project already went through. And now they want to do both sides of the culvert. They want to do the north and the south head wall replacement. And I just needed some guidance because I, I wasn't there for that project. I think they're going to have to refile with us because they're going to have to show the plans for the other side. Okay. Not that we're going to deny it, right? But we have to see plans for what they're proposing. And I can also send you all like the plans. They sent me revised plans for the new work that they're doing. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, you know, we're not discussing it formally tonight with, no. you know, with the applicant. Um, this is on Nightly Road itself? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's in that dingle. Uh, they, we gave them permission to <laughs> do the <laughs> north north <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, okay. laughs> wall. We didn't give them permission way. to do the, that's <laughs> all that they asked for. <laughs> And that's what we gave them permission to do. Now they're finding out, if I correct me if I'm wrong, it's cheaper to do both now yes. and to I, I, repair it. And I think it's an oversight of the that they should have done the whole thing at once. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt it. Probably they didn't. I think we, we can't uh, let that one go. We're gonna right. come no, back. that needs to be done because uh, according, to, uh, according to these minutes, well, actually, according to my phone <laughs> when I was deleting everything, uh, there was an emergency certification, I believe, in way back in April, mm -hmm. to fix the head wall. Then there was a motion on the town meeting uh, floor, and was town meeting in June? May, late May. Late May, and he asked for money for to repair the repair the head wall. Mm -hmm. So we gave him a permission again to do it, and nothing has happened. Yeah, we did drive by there because um, I had gotten an email and Edwin wanted to show me where the site was on our way back to another site visit. And there's like a cone out on the road, but oh, there's yeah. construction in, in progress right now. The head wall is slowly deteriorating and falling apart, yes. Okay. 
and it needs to be repaired ASAP, not just when we think about it, but when right. it needs to be fixed. Aren't, right aren't they running out of construction season to do that right now with the weather? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, so pretty close. I was leaning towards a new notice of intent as well because it's effectively doubling the scope of the work. Uh, but I just wanted to touch base on that with you all. I don't think we're going to deny it, but I think we need to have concrete plans to have a hearing on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll communicate that with the, okay. the project um, people, points of contact. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is R2PW is doing this, or? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, that's, that's the applicant. They're not going to subcontract out? Well, I, I they don't might, know. They might subcontract out. I don't know what they're going to do. I, but they're the applicant. I can pull it up. Um, I do have it digitally. I don't know if the town is going to do it or they're going to subcontract it out or what, but if the town does it, it's going to take a longer period of time, but they're going to be able to. But the do town it is the applicant and the one doing all the engineering work. Correct? Yeah. I'm pulling up the order I conditions don't know. for the project. And who has designed all this? The, the, um, the wet man's. No, there's, um, the, the person who I've been in contact with is from uh, Comprehensive Environmental Group, I think is the name. So they have an environmental representative? They have an environmental representative who I've been in contact with, but yeah, uh, the applicant is Chris Okafor okay. uh, from Department of Public Works, and the property owner is the town yeah. of Hadley. Um, so the environmental consulting group is met to prepare to do and show us all the mitigation factors and right. erosion controls and what they're going right. to, what they propose that's going to clarify the DEP regulations. Actually, I think another tree fell down over this last storm over this past weekend. Is it dead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to have to move, move that dead tree out of the way. <laughs> not going to get oh. any better. Yeah, not going to get any better, that's for sure. If we get our firewood, then Hopefully, we'll be able to get a file number in a timely manner. Um, but there's some staffing shortages up at the DEP right now. So <laughs> hopefully, it doesn't take too long. But <laughs> and, and we had some problems. Now they have some problems. <laughs> Bigger than ours. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're all, we'll get through it. <laughs> Anything there else the board would like to bring up tonight? I, how are you doing in your position, Gary? Best I can. That's all we can ask. Thank you. That's all we can ask. I think you're doing a wonderful job. Okay. I second that motion. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Hearing nothing else, who would like to make a motion to adjourn then? I will. That was second. The second? No, I just got to take the clockwork. And I'll second. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.